welcome to the Wicked Gamer Rand Collector. Welcome back people to a new video. And in today's video we're going to do a little bit of an upgrade of the system. And now we're going to talk about the Gigabyte Z307 HD 3P. It's a really nice mainboard. I was searching for a gaming 3, 5 or 7. But when I go to my store, my favorite store here in the Netherlands, the Dutch Computer Center, he recommended me this board and I'm very pleased that he did this because it's just fine for what I need. But this is not the only thing I bought for my upgrade kit. In my previous CPU I used a Core i5 and I'm stepping up my game with a Core i7-8700. Really nice because I can use it with my video rendering. And for the memory I have chosen DDR4. Fury Hyper X. So that completes my little bit of a set and let's take it together and show you how we're going to build this machine. And first we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing of this main board. Check out first what we're going to get in the box itself. It comes with the EO shielding and a little bit of a connector for easy plug and play for connecting all your yeah, casing connectors. Let's do an unboxing of unpacking of the main board itself. And I must say, this thing looks exactly the same <laughs> like my home bo main board. Man, it looks nice. Gigabyte did a really job well done with this one again. SLI and a lot of features. Maybe in the first part of my video I mentioned that it looks a lot like my old board, but if you look at the specifications, yeah, the old and the new one got SLI, but it got little new funny upgrades like fan stop, uh, temperature sensors, it even supports RGB light, and yeah, a lot of awesome stuff. And of course, new generation USB is possible. There's only one port of this main board because it is not one of the expensive gaming boards. If you buy an expensive board, yes, it got more USB port. And this also counts for the set of ports there are on this main board. Only six of them, so if you want to have a rate configuration or just need more ports, buy an expensive board. And it's finally time to unbox the Intel Core i7 processor. And the box is exactly the same like my fourth generation i5. <laughs> That is really funny that he never changed the book itself. It comes with a stock cooler, this one. Uh, I know the extreme versions or the higher end versions doesn't have any coolers, but this one does. Um, yeah, it's fun to have, but the only thing I'm going to do with it is just put them in the box and put it in my storage because I'm not going to use it. I'm going for the liquid cooler master and I'm going to make a separate video about that one. And here it is, the box of magic. And of course, we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing of the Fury HyperX. Not that special. Boop. Really nice. Looks really like exactly like the DDR3. And uh, yeah, I think it's just time for putting it all together. All right, the first thing that are, we are going to do is um, yeah, enter the CPU, enter the box of magic. Right, you see the little pins here and there. Keep in mind that you need to fit them exactly within the CPU because the CPU got two little gaps. And if you don't do it correctly, you are destroying your main board. So that is very important. And here it got even a little arrow and little two little gaps. So we're going to fit it in like a Lego block. And now you see my beautiful hand. All right, of course, don't forget to remove the cup, the cap, cap, cup. All right, and now we're going to close it. A little bit of one. All right, and be sure it's secure. HyperX time. And it's time to assemble the memory. Let's see if it fits correct 
in the main board and let's push it down and when it's good you hear a click from both sides so that's very important so you know it's secure in the main board let's do again the second ooh, sticker i'm not gonna use that i really don't like stickers on my computer do you ah maybe a little little one of the i7 or something but all right and do it again and yes we are done so for the final conclusion and it's a really nice upgrade kit i'm very pleased with it thanks again to my local shop dutch computer center for advising me for the main board cpu and memory and uh, i hope you really enjoyed my video and my unboxing and a little bit of an assembly of the parts and um, let me know what kind of computer do you use uh, for gaming or video running or um, yeah let me know where you're using it for i want to thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and stay strong stay positive and stay wicked and people game on Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, I don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.